Good day, viewers. Well, he's my bad second debuggery Toshiba. And I mean bad second debuggery. Here's my C my C T, which I'm HDD regenerating. I've uh, haven't done that to that drive yet. Let's see how this one here goes. It did fix my um Hitachi drive, H E S T one. But this Toshiba one, oh my god it's bad. I don't know what's wrong with it. Might have to run a real strong magnet past the disks and just completely manually erase it and start again, see if that fixes it. You know, from having 50 bad sectors and it was in here, and now it's got almost bloody 300 bad sectors. 241 bad sectors on this Toshiba drive and 30 weak sectors. Yeah, it's uh, not too healthy. It's only got a month of estimated lifetime remaining. Don't think I'm going to use that drive again. It's just, I don't know, it's just something weird with this hard drive. It just cannot record or read for shit. It's forgotten how to do it. 241 bad sectors, I mean, come on. I use one rooted drive. Let's see if the Kronos is where you are it and pick this drive up now. That's, uh, there we go, 12%. 241 bad sectors. Reallocation event 46, come on, pending sector 30. Yeah. If this keeps going, it's going to run out of sectors sooner or later. I'm just going to keep doing this and use it as a test drive. I'm not going to um, use it, but I'll leave it blank and just use it as a reference control drive but to compare different um, HDD health uh, programs and apps. <laughs> that is buggered. So this was on, this, these are both on zero, and this is 240, and it stayed there for a while, and it hung around 18%, and it was good for a bit. After more um, formats and HDD regenerates, yeah, it's got 241 bad sectors. That's one bad second to bug every hard drive. The yeah, Toshiba must have been pretty crap with that when I made that hard drive. I even actually took the cover off it and looked as a speck of dust on the disc, so I blew it carefully with dry air and got it off, put it back together. It hasn't gotten any worse, so it's not a the dust issue, it's just it just can't record or read for shit. The hard job has forgotten how to do it, so it's marking all the sectors as bad. There is just something really wrong with that hard drive. It doesn't want to write or write anymore. It's mainly a read failure. It writes alright according to the tests and it will sometimes read good and sometimes it will just say read failure, so the read heads must be rooted. Or on their way out. It's a single platter. So there must have been a valid one, 500 gig as well, obviously, that's a um, 250 gig model with one platter. The performance is good. That is rooted. It's only done that much work. That's only how old it is, one day old. There's that much work it's ever done. So it's got a month left. That is pretty bad. Yeah, it doesn't go that high, see? It says 50, 100 and 100. Value the 100 bad sectors. It's actually 241. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I do uh, like the old CT. This one is this CT um, CT uh, external drive. The enclosure. It's actually very reliable. It's very quick to respond. But this quality high um, hot ray rock. For some reason, there must just be a bad controller in there because um. The reviews I read on those um, enclosures are all good. The reviews said there's a really, really high up, a really good enclosure to get. That's why I got it, and I quite like it. But the um, there was just something wrong with this one. Something wrong with the um, controller. It's just really slow to load, and it will have a read indication on that LED. And the hard drive won't be doing anything. It just freezes up the computer. So I think the um, with a bad batch uh, SATA, SATA bridge card in that one. Because I wanted to um, copy all the movies and stuff onto that one. That way I have minimal to lose on this hard drive, even though I get everything backed up anyway. So I've got that hard drive there, just use it for this um, Android box and leave it and try and regenerate this one. But um, yeah, it's just. It's just something wrong with that bloody enclosure, it's retarded. Mentally retarded. The chip in there is just. I don't know, I think it needs a bullet. Put it out of its misery. It works sometimes, but when I want to copy stuff on it, it's just. Uh, Work and it won't work, and if I say copy, it'd be stuck at zero percent complete. I mean, what kind of hard drive enclosure is that? 
It worked all right with this one on the TV though. Just when I wanted to use it on the computer. It's a shame because it's such a high quality bloody enclosure. Uh, this is going to take a while. Man, I don't know why the head moves so damn slowly. I used to look up sectors that are bad. How can you justify it? It's going to take that bloody long. I don't see why it would take that long. The head must be moving pretty slowly, pretty thoroughly, just scanning slowly along the disc. Ah, annoying. Anyway. I bet you never get let it hard. I don't know how you would let a hard drive get that bad. 241 weak sectors, bad sectors. Went from 50 and just jumped up and went steady, steadily climbed as I was um, regenerating this drive. It found 250 bad sectors all up by the time this finished, after 8 hours. <coughs> yeah, and you guys were saying. Yeah. That's one bad sector, the buggery hard drive. There's no point in using that for anything. All it's going to do is start corrupting data. Ah oh, well, let's see how bad it gets. It's only, got, it's only going to go till it stops from, uh, till it runs out of spare sectors. Then it will start dropping in capacity. <laughs> Be curious to see just how much it's going to take before it starts losing its physical capacity and going down. So it's going to be my control drive, this one. Just leave it blank and use it as a control drive, see how it goes. Use it to test the reliability of um, popular hard drive. Um, monitoring and smart monitoring apps that are out there. So that's my control drive, that one. <laughs> that's not going to be much use for anything. That's bad sector debuggery. Then there's just something seriously wrong with that disc or heads. Anyway, thanks for watching.